What's up everyone, it's Eddie the Chosen One. I'm back here with another fitness video. I'm gonna help you all out today. I'm gonna tell you all, I'm gonna give you guys five tips. Five tips, the best five tips ever to build strength, okay? Now this is proven to work. This has working for me. It's working for other people. This is research on research. This is just methods you can do to build strength, all right? So let's say you have the muscle. Let's say you got the muscle, so it's not a problem. But you just aren't strong. A lot of people look strong, but they aren't strong, okay? And some people don't look strong, but they are strong. <laughs> but today is not how to build muscle. Today is how to build strength, okay? Number one, okay? What you all have to understand is that when you're doing the, let's say, bicep curls, or let's say the chest press, whatever you're doing, you're tearing down those cells and tissues. You're tearing that down. So, number one, repairing. You must repair and heal your body. But first, before you do that, you have to be in the need of repairing. You have to train consistently. You're gonna have to tear down and then rebuild, okay? You're gonna have to tear down and rebuild. Now it sounds like, but why would I train so hard just to stop training? That's not what you're doing, okay? When you're training hard, okay, be like this, right? Your body has to hit a activation point for any progress to be seen. And granted, your activation point is whatever yours may be, you know, we all are different. We all, all of our bodies are different. You know, our amount that we can take of pain and when it comes to working out is, you know, limited at your own discretion. But yes, activation point. Then you have to stop right there. Then you have to heal it, okay? You can't keep going past the activation point because then, you, now, y'all heard of wear and tear, tear and repair? You only gonna be tearing and tearing, not tearing and repair. You wanna tear and repair tear and repair not tear 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 okay now you guys know everyone talks about rest days why because it's important if i train for a three weeks straight consistently not even three weeks straight let's say some people don't work out seven days a week they work out five or six days a week and then when they train and they go back in the gym they're stronger than ever than what they was before because they took their rest they have to take that rest day, okay now second tip diet right now i have um something cooking right now so i keep looking over there to take the time but it's a um protein thing so diet okay so and that's part of the repairing process but why how does that um what does that have to do with strength specifically because when you're adding these essential vitamins and minerals the blood flow is better you the, these are like it's just like supplements it's like natural supplements it's natural supplements when you eat that healthy stuff and you get that diet in you so you can be able to push more. Let's say, for example, right? Let's say I eat a Hot Pocket before I go in the gym, right? And I lift, you know, and let's say I'm doing the um, bench press and I bench, say, 190 for about five reps, whatever. But let's say I eat a protein meal, high protein and a, a few carbs in there, low fat, you know, not a lot of cholesterol, you know, with a few vitamin A, vitamin C is in there. I go in the gym and I bench, let's say 215, 215. Because that nutrition, and this is the same thing with the pump. Once we get that pump, the vitamins and minerals coming up too. The blood is circulating all of that. So once you have those, that nutrition in you, it's easier to push, you're getting stronger. And then your body has to adapt. Okay, your body says, okay, this is the weight we're lifting right now. We cannot go down because when he tries to lift heavier weight, it's gonna fuck up and he's gonna fuck up, okay? So your body adapts to that, okay? So, number one, rest and repair. Two, dieting, okay? It's five tips. Number three. Let me give y'all something right quick. If my goal is to, let's say, do a seated shoulder press with the 75s, which I most recently failed. I got it right here. I think I did the 70s for like three reps. I think I did the 70s for one, two, or three reps. So that's 70, 70. What's seven times seven? I don't know what, the, I'm, I'm tripping. I am tripping. I am tripping. 70 plus 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40. That's 140, right? I know seven times two is 14. I know that y'all, I'm just, I, I, I just got done working out my brain fog. <laughs> okay, so let's say, if I lift it, and I'm not cutting this out either, but let's say, right, so I, I did the seven, I'm seated, right? I, I, so I did the seven, I got the seven, right? 140 right here, right? Shoulder pressing, right? And I'm here, do that one, two, three. Then I got the 75, so I'm here, got stuck right here. 
it got stuck like right here. But what I'm trying to tell you all, you have to train the smaller body part. So that's training, okay? Train, train, but not train. Now, if, if you're bench pressing, you're not just using your chest. You're using your arms, your core, a little bit of your shoulder. Um, using your legs to stand you down and keep you and keep you seated and, and you know strong, a strong base. You have to train everything. You have to upper, middle. And lower chest. You have to train everything, okay? You have to train that tricep if you want to curl that weight. You can't just, look, if I'm, if I'm doing a curl, that tricep is right there. That tricep bring that thing back up. Boom. You got to train that, okay? You got to train the smaller body parts, okay? That's number three. Train the smaller body parts. And then once you do that, you'll have more support, okay? So let's say uh, if I'm trying to do a chest peg fly, all right? Now, when you look on the, a lot of these machines, they tell you, if you're in the gym, they tell you what you're training. Um, whether you're in a, a bodybuilder gym, a local gym, it may, it shows you what you're training. And this is from my experience of being in different gyms, seeing other big bodybuilders in different gyms. It tells you what you're training, the muscle you're training with the machine. So if you're doing a pack fly, you need that shoulder. You need that shoulder. You need that bicep to pull that weight. And then you have to squeeze the chest. But first you need this. You have to train everything, okay? Train these small muscle groups, then you, it'll be a lot easier to build strength. Why? Because again, your body adapts to it, okay? Number four, how to build strength, okay? Lift weight, lift heavy weight. Now this is it, number one, number two, number three. Notice how it's number four. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say, oh, Oh, you can just lift a bunch of heavy weight and you'll get stronger. But it is needed, okay? Because if you don't push your body, if I'm sitting here curling 30s all day, I would never get to the 50s. Never. I have to lift that 40, lift that 45, then get to that 50. You got to lift the weight. You got to lift that heavy weight. Or you got to lift them 60s and 70s. You got to bench that 200, 300, 400. You got to do it to get stronger. Why? Because, again, when you're turning that down, your body builds stronger ones. Your body builds much stronger tissue after the previous tissue is torn down. So that stronger tissue allows you to lift more weight. But first, you have to lift that weight. You have to lift the weight. So lift heavy weight. Again, whatever that is to you, okay? I'm not saying going to the gym and you see somebody lifting 300, 400 plus pounds. Heavy to you, maybe 200. <laughs> so, I mean, hey, do what's heavy to you. But you have to lift that heavy weight. You have to. To lift it, okay? Number five, all right? Number five, do it consistently. All of these things I said right here, you must do it consistently. Why? Because again, your body has to hit the activation point and then you have to adapt to it. But if you do it, let's say if I, if I say, okay, I'm going in the gym and I'm not doing um, bodybuilder training, I'm gonna do HIIT training, I'm gonna lift a bunch of heavy weight. I only do it two days in a row. The next day, I stop. And after that, I stop, I'm done. I, I I I may receive no gains from those two days. Never. <laughs> no gains may come because my body hasn't adapted to it yet. So you have to do everything consistently, okay? So take these tips right here. Eat, diet, train the small body parts, lift the heavy weight, consistency, okay? So do these five tips right here. I guarantee you, you will build strength, okay? So thanks for watching. Stay safe. I love y'all. Peace out.